Good day, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Dial R's Thriller Tactics. In this video, I'm going to give you my take on squad battles. Now, I haven't, uh, haven't put out a video yet. I didn't want to jump all over it because uh, squad battles were kind of a evolving thing. The first couple of days wasn't a good, uh, true representation of what squad battles are. So I kind of wanted to wait till things shook out to put out this video to give you guys the best information. All right. Okay. Let's begin. So, Squad Battles, new game mode that came with the Wolverine update. There's my Wolverine. That's just one of the suits I like. That's a Hydra with a yellow head. I'm trying to get the yellow Hydra head, but it's going to take me some time. So, uh, this is what I'm rocking right now. Otherwise, I kind of have a Fear of its Fear Itself suit as well. But, anyways, Squad Battles. So, Squad Battles is in the a Arena part, uh, the Arena menu. Omega War Dimension Duel Dark Zone Squad Battles. So, Squad Battles right here. As you can see, I am currently rank 9th. I kind of took a big jump ahead. I don't recommend spending a whole lot of crystals in this game, but I did it to try to get a boost uh, to get up there um, because the first couple days you were just fighting easy cake, walk, destroy with one tune, battle is over before you even knew what was going on kind of setup. Now it's settled in. Now I'm going against people appropriate to my... I think it's my point level because there's some big, big, big boys on my board right now. Uh, if we look at this Wolverine, it's Obi Jam. If you're in the game for any amount of time, you know who Obi Jam is. Up top here, we got Motor City Madman. And then here is Yur from Endgame on my server. So these are the guys I'm going up against. You see my squad or your squad power right here in participating attackers power. Um, and then, uh, yeah, these are all your opponents. You can refresh once up here in this top corner, which will refresh the board. But I don't recommend you do that because you get uh, a, a full clear bonus if you can beat all of these teams. So underneath my head, let's just move my camera so that you can see. When you come into here, you're going to want to set up your teams for attack and for defense. Team settings. Let me move my head back now so you can actually see. Whoop. All right. So team settings. These are my teams. This is my attacker teams. And you get one, two, three teams. It's the same for defender. One, two, three teams. So this is how I have my attacker team set up. And right now my attacker teams are the same as my defender teams. So you can pick out who's going to come out first or who's going to start your battle first in your first team. I have Wolverine with Hulk and then I have uh, my Black Widow. And then I have Scarlet Witch. As you see, my Wolverine's 1.5, my Black Widow's 2.3, and my Scarlet Witch is 1.3. And these are the companions associated with them. You can pull them off and then put on one of your other heroes. Or you can unequip your companion and then equip one of your other companions. When you first log into Squad Battles, it's going to pre-populate all of your teams. So you're going to have to clear everything uh, and then reset up your teams how you'd like. So right now... As you see, these are my attacker teams, but my defense teams are the same. I I don't see why you'd want it to be different. Maybe because you're not controlling it. So your team strength is kind of what it is. So seems kind of redundant to have an attacker and a defender teams. Now, keep in mind, guys, that these characters are pulled from your active roster. So I make sure after I use a character to always put it back into PVP mode because it pulls all of your badges, all of your cards, all of your gear from your character at that time. So please remember to log in and set your team always to be in a def or a PVP uh, preset. Sorry, there's the word. All right, next, teamwork. So again, Teamwork, you can boost every character. Every character has a teamwork um, ability that can be upgraded. Uh, we don't know how many times exactly. People are just assuming it's 10, maybe it's 20. But uh, you can scan through all of these uh, characters and see their bonus. But their bonus all cost teamwork stones. Potential, which is very rare. It's uh, kind of unfortunate that we have to spend potential, but it is what it is. And this might scale, I'm not sure. And then um, your biggest Convergium. So these uh, apply different things to different characters. Um, if you feel like you need to boost up your team, go at it. I'm not going to focus on that right now. But 
here's how to do it, ladies and gentlemen. So there's kind of the layout. There's how uh, you set up. If we look at rewards, so let's look at ranking. As you see, I am currently actually 10th. Someone, a bunch of end games are finally starting to outpace me, which is fine. It is what it is. Um, rewards. You get uh, crystals for payout, so it's kind of like an arena, pay arena payout. You get a whole bunch of these teamwork stones, and then this is your squad battle tokens that you use to spend in the shop. So I am currently, what, 10th? So if it was to end tonight, I would get 900 crystals, 4,500 tokens, and 8,500 or 80, <laughs> 850 stones. Let's go look at the shop really quick to show you what you can buy in the store. So it is in tokens. It is in normal tokens, and they've been added at the end, squad battle tokens. So what did I get? 4,500 for getting in the top 10, which means I can almost buy this core color slot changer. This is uh, probably uh, one of the best, but I think uh, because I want to put a bunch of potential onto my Wolverine, I might spend it, that 4,500, and spend it on this potential. Um... Because otherwise, it's going to take me a long time to get Wolverine's potential up because I did not hoard potential. So there's the store. There's kind of the uh, setup of the game mode. Now, if you watch some of the other content creators' videos on squad battles, one of the common complaints was you just press go and then it just zooms through so fast you don't even know what's going on. That is not the way it is. Once everybody gets settled in all the tiers, uh, I have some gameplay footage that I want to show you that sh that will highlight what this game mode really looks like. And I'm also going to show you one thing that one of my alliance mates sh uh, pointed out to me that makes it a little bit better. That I haven't seen yet in anybody else's, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um, videos on squad battles. So this is pre-recorded footage from this morning. So there's my Wolverine as of this morning, going into squad battles. Let's see, might have to pause this. So here's my initial board. As you see, they these care these teams are not as powerful as the teams that you saw me facing right now. That's because this morning I cleared the board. I clear this board, and then it pre-populated with people that matched my victory score. So these are my points right now. These are the people that are matched up with me based on my points, and I think team power, but don't quote me. But then after I got up to, uh, I think it got up to fifth, and I reset the board, it pre-populated against bigger enemies. So, you're always going to have one team on the board that is double the points. And then you're going to get points for every other team, and then you're if you clear the board, you're going to get a clear bonus. I think it's 76, 72, or 78. Don't quote me on that points. We'll see as we roll this footage. There we go. So here's the teams. I want to pause it right there. You see how he has his team set up. So his Star Lord is his most powerful at 2.1 million. And then 1.5, 1.3. He just set his teams in order of power. Uh, whereas I didn't. I set Wolverine out first. And then Black Widow. Then Scarlet Witch. And then uh, Spider Man. My Captain America. And my Magic. So these are my six highest powered characters but I did not set them straight according to power I kind of tried to set some kind of strategy so let's see how it goes against uh, Titan Z yes click the button there dialer there you go no 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 go yeah go okay all right so this is a visual bug it should have the teams the, the characters all going against each other uh, if you watched Misery's video, he didn't even have characters on his board when they were fighting. Um, I, for some reason, never ever did see the characters on the splash screen. Now, here's a trick, guys. So, you see how I clicked on Black Widow? And it says here it can be switched four seconds after entry time. You can control, you don't have to watch this battle from the overhead display. The, the, the default view that they give you to watch this battle is really boring it is it is not clear what's going on it's fuzzy it's not great you can click on any of your characters or any of their characters to pivot to that character's point of view in the battle and then once you're in the battle you can use the you can switch the camera angle to follow along let's see watch i'm going to switch to my 
Black Widow. And now I got a bird's eye view on what my Black Widow is seeing. And you can drag the camera angle around and change it as you like. So now once you defeat their first team, their second team comes in and carries on right where we left off. So as you see, my Wolverine's at half health, but my Widow and my Scarlet Witch go back in the queue and the timer is even longer this time. So this is on Wolverine's perspective. You could even go to Captain America's perspective if you want. But this view, you see how this feels a lot more dynamic versus day one, day two, when you just snapped your finger and the battle was over. Here looks, it just looks cooler, doesn't it? That's all I can say. So Scarlet Witch, that Spider-Man hanging on for dear life, I win. And I get double the points since that was the uh, double point node on the board. Let's see. Uh, there we go. So this point right here, I do believe, is what doubles. 53 points. Because the other ones are roughly 27. So next team, who are we going to pick? I think I picked from the strongest down. So we're going to go uh, this guy. As you see, it was a 1-5 Captain America. His Spider-Man was also fairly strong. I think 1-4, 1-5. Um, it seems like Spider-Man is still the undisputed king of PvP, even in uh, an automated game mode like Squad Battles. So here, I click on Wolverine right away, and it zooms right into Wolverine's point of view, and then I can manipulate the camera angle to see what's going on. So boom, boom, boom. You see Captain America is almost dead, but my Wolverine's dead, my Scarlet Witch is dead. Uh, their Captain America is still alive. I'm done. My first team got leveled. So Spider-Man's coming in. And now, see, their Spider-Man goes back in the queue. Their Captain America is one iota of health away from death. So not ideal that Spider-Man's got the Spider-Bots. I don't think that's worked. I'm going to have to retweak my Spider-Man PvP. But you see now Captain America's dead. I have my full team, Captain America, Magic, and, and Spider-Man. Uh, their Spider-Man is hanging in there, so I'm going into his perspective now. See, so as you see the little, uh, the eye icon, see how their Spider-Man has a little yellow eye? That is the camera perspective that I, that is active right now. So, my Spider-Man's hanging in there too. It looks like neither of us are giving up any ground, but my magic's slowly dying. Captain America's just hanging there. It looks like nobody's taking damage. Everybody's cocooned. So now we're going over to my Spider-Man. Their team is almost dead, but you see how this first team annihilated my first team, and then my second team came in and was able to uh, to uh, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But now his second team isn't as strong, or at least I don't think they are. There I am switching the camera angle. So you see how long this fight's going on? Much, much, much better than the initial... Um, Date that we were presented on day one and day two. Much more balanced, much more dynamic, much more cool, and you can kind of get a sense how to, you have to kind of strategically place your teams. You might not want all of your really powerful characters in team one, because say if their Spider-Man comes in and kills them all and your next team is weak, you might not be able to overcompensate and pull out the victory like I did right there, which, uh, you know, my Spider-Man and my Captain America came in clutch. So there you go, as you saw that first one was 57, no 54, this one was 25. Now we're gonna just scoot along. Uh, I don't think we need, you guys need to see me play all six battles. But I do want to show you what it looks like when you clear the board. Here we go. So this is the last team, let's just fast forward a little bit. He only had one team set. He did have slots for another team. And you get the second slot at silver, and you get the third slot at platinum. Yeah, Wolverine Flex. Suck in those claws, buddy. Cinch it up. And there you go. So you see, for the full clear, all KO victory score, you get a whopping 78 points. That is more than three team kills. Okay, keep that in mind. So the strategy you really want to do is you want to be able to clear the whole board. So if you get matched up 
Your first board of the day is some uber whale kraken on there that you know you can't beat. It might be prudent to refresh the map and hope for a better map, the one that you can clear fully to get that max score. And there you go, guys. There is squad battles. So I hope that was a little bit more illuminating than some of the other squad battle videos you've seen. Do I like it? I I like it, but it could have been so much better. The map could have been bigger, first of all. The characters could have come in at longer distances, so they would run up and get a little sense of uh, suspense as they came in and clashed right in the middle. The board just seems just a little too small, and I wish... Like I said in my uh, speculation video, I could have set my characters where they come into battle. Because I don't like how they all come in from that one same spot. I would have preferred it if I could have made my my uh, Black Widow come in from up in the corner of the board and come into fray. That way it's not just such a clum, uh, 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 dog pile right in the center of the board. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's squad battles. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, put... Uh, squad in the comments that'll let me know that you made it to the end of this video and until next time ladies and gentlemen peace cheers i will catch you later bye bye